Hi. Good morning. <laughs> I didn't realize I was going to be uh, videoed. Um, yep. I'm vlogging. Would you like to say anything to the masses? Hello, masses. How are you? <laughs> Your hair is looking very perky today. Yeah, it's, you know. There's the baker. Hi, baker. She's all riled up because she had some trout in her food today. Yep. You did. Would you like to share your outfit of the day? Sure. I see you're putting on a watch. Yes, I'm wearing a watch. There's something special about this watch. It's, it doesn't have a battery. It charges automatically. The mechanism in there as your hand moves goes around and So you're it. like energizing the watch as you wear yeah, it. Yeah, you're winding you're it basically. That's fun. Yep. Uh, these pants are actually golf pants, so they're extremely comfortable. And you have a little spot on them that you tended to. Yeah, I got, got a little spot of something off of there. Okay. Just a regular little polo shirt. So I take it it's a casual day. Doing business office. casual. Business no casual. No cord or anything. Uh, these shoes? They're brown. Um, uh, they came from Kohl's, I think. Yeah, we got them at Kohl's. I like those I shoes. Nun, I think they look nice. None bush. None bush. None bush. That's the tie I wore yesterday. It's a, that's a nice place for it right there on the bar stool. Yeah. Here's me. I'm not ready yet. I'm fresh faced and just washed and bright eyed and bushy tailed. Good for her. Um, would you like to mention anything about the beauty broadcast community real quick before you go? Oh, is that what we're going to talk about that on Well, I just thought I might mention it on the vlog since it, has, it okay. is now up and running. Yeah, we've started a new community. Um, got a forum kind of have your own profile and things like that that place for everybody to go and interact and mm -hmm. chat about whatever from obviously the makeup board is going to be the most popular but food exercise yeah forums off, about off everything topic. taking requests for forums you want to see we're adding things in kind of slowly though yes uh, I'm guessing we're going to get a surge in new people after this video goes up though yeah. So it'll be exciting. It's been fun. I think people who have been on it have really been enjoying it. There's a chat feature. I mean, it's just yeah. really cool. So it's, it's pretty neat. But Tyler is kind of helping out with the creation of that site and with the upkeep of it because it's a big job. So it is. It's a lot. We got a lot of things We've to keep up with. We got like 900 members today, and it's already stuff to keep up with. So yep. I'm guessing it's only going to get more involved. My arm's getting tired. Okay, I can stop talking at any point. <laughs> this is my new hat I bought uh, when we were in St. Louis last weekend. It's an Under Armour golf hat. You like Under Armour stuff? I pretty much like all things Under Armour. Is it comfy? It is. Does it fit well? It fits pretty well. It doesn't fit very tightly, so I, I like that. It's just nice and comfortable. Looks like it would match many things you would wear. That's pretty much why I bought it. I can wear it with any outfit I, I choose. He's always wearing such colorful, outlandish things on the course, you know. Right, like my <laughs> knickers and such. <laughs> this is our bird feeder. Um, you can see some birds are utilizing it. We put in uh, like a songbird mix. It's supposed to attract um, the colorful, pretty birds. And so far, I think I've seen a red-winged blackbird and uh, a goldfinch, I believe. So it's that time of year where more birds are starting to come around, so we'll see what else we get. You want to know about Cupcake's favorite toy? It's these little thingies that like we tear off our packages of turkey or just any kind of thing like this that comes off of a package. You can see she can't take her eyes off of it. Trying out a new cereal. Um, we've got the Fiber One chocolate. I haven't eaten any yet, but Tyler has tried it and says it's good. I know Fiber One is recommended a lot, um, just in terms of a nutritious, pretty low calorie cereal. So we have this. We also have um, the rice checks. I love checks, so we have that too. This video is the definition of random, but um, I wanted to show you guys this because I I did show it in my live Ustream show, um, but I know a lot of people didn't get to see that because I'm having some issues with Ustream and all that business, but um, this is my new luggage. I got it from Overstock.com and the brand is Rockland. I haven't even taken that little, let's get that off of there because it's so important. <laughs> there we go. 
Um, but I just was kind of looking for some fun luggage because the wheel on, um, and a little peg like that was on the bottom of my other luggage broke off so it wouldn't stand up anymore. And, uh, so yeah, I, I wanted to get something cute and nothing says cute to me like pink and leopard. It also came with a, a smaller bag that has like a shoulder strap and, you know, you could fit like a laptop in it or other stuff. So that was really cool. Um, the price was pretty good. I'll have to look up and see exactly what it was, but, um, I think it was less than 50 bucks maybe. So pretty good deal. This is what I'll be taking to IMATS in New York. Whoop, whoop. So I don't know if you guys have seen this, but this is on Ryan Seacrest's website, and I didn't know about this till last night when some girls on the Beauty Broadcast community page um, told me that I was on this list. It's a list of like a whole big bunch <laughs> of people with makeup channels, like a really long list, as you can see there. Um, but I just wanted to say thank you to anybody who's voted for me. From what I've been told, I wasn't on this list to begin with, but I was on it last night, I guess, and um, a lot of people have apparently voted for me, so I just wanted to say thanks for that. I don't know how long this goes on. I don't know if this is like a week or something. Oh, okay, it says check back every Monday. Oh, there's rounds of this. Goodness gracious. Well, I'll put the link down in the description box if you're interested in voting on this kind of thing, or if you see another person on there that you'd like to vote for, that's cool too. But just thank you to people who told me that I was on this and uh, people who have voted. That was very kind. I would also like to say a thank you if you're watching to Miss Crystal because she does some great vlogs and she really inspired me to get back to just the sort of vlogging style of, you know, the channel just kind of taking the camera around with you with what you're doing. Um, she does really interesting ones, talks about like what she's having for lunch or dinner or, you know, just what she's doing day to day. And I think they're a lot of fun to watch. So that's um, kind of a reason why I decided to bring it back to my vlog channel, kind of like I used to do with the M's World videos. So I will link below to Crystal's beauty channel, which is extremely helpful, and also her vlogging channel, which it, she newly created. So she's got vlogs on her regular channel, but now she's created, you know, the separate channel. So um, I want you to know about that. Go to it and subscribe and show her some love. And um, meanwhile, I'm going to get dressed. I mean, I have a shirt on and everything, but I'm going to actually put regular clothes on. Alrighty. Well, um, I'm not sure. Hello, Cupcake. Not sure how great um, the lighting is in here in the bathroom, but this is my outfit that I'm wearing today. And by the way, I am five feet tall, if that makes any difference to you. Like, I wear a lot of, like, petite stuff because I got, you know, short legs and a short torso. But my shoes today are, these are from Target. They are my leopard print flats, and I love them. They're comfortable. They stay on my feet. A lot of times my heel will, like, pop out of the back of a lot of my flats and these are really great. Um, my jeans are from Wet Seal and I've had those for a long time, just some typical skinny jeans, kind of a dark denim and they're a little bit lighter in the center part and I think that's supposed to slim your leg a little bit. Um, this top, it's kind of blousey, um, but this is from Ross. Kind of like an olive-ish green. And it has kind of like a cute neckline, so that's what drew me to this it. This little necklace here is from uh, Charming Charlie. I went, got to go to a Charming Charlie in Nashville um, a while back when Tyler and I went there for our anniversary. By the way, this little mirror is my Lori Grenier jewelry storage. Um, so I've got all my jewelry in there. Let me know if you want to see like a video showing the contents or how I store things. Um, I'd be happy to do that. Uh, but I just love A, having this mirror here and B, just all the storage space inside is awesome. I also wanted to show you guys my new bag. Um, I still use my Isaac Mizrahi one. It's kind of larger and when I'm wearing stuff that I feel like this works really well with, I'll still use it. But I feel like if I'm just going out and, you know, running some errands, a little crossbody bag is just really lightweight and convenient. And this one I got from TJ Maxx. I think it may have been less than 20 bucks. The brand is Franco Sarto. Never heard of it. Does not really make a difference to me, but it's got really cute lining in there, that polka dot lining. Snap compartment there, a zipper there. 
a zipper on the back side and then your main zipper here on the top and then it's got plenty of little compartments inside as well. My wallet in there, um, cell phone and stuff. All right, I am heading out to um, go to Walgreens. I'm gonna pass by Walgreens and see if I can find those new spring wet and wild palettes. And then I need to get a few things for some crock pot salsa chicken thing that I'm making. Um, and by the way, do you hear that? Genie in a Bottle is playing on the radio. I remember loving that song. Like that was my jam in high school, so woo! I'd just like to say I did not find what I was looking for at Walgreens, those new Wet n Wild palettes. They had multiple other Wet n Wild displays. They had one like, it looked like a Fergie Valentine's themed thing. They had Fergie nail polishes. Several other things, but not these spring palettes. So maybe they're just waiting to put those and out. Some people do ask me, like, since you're a Wet n Wild beauty ambassador, don't they send you, like, all the new collections? And, I mean, they do send some stuff. Like, they sent me the Fergie collection, but they're kind of inconsistent as far as, like, limited edition stuff. So I just go out and look for it on my own, and because I would buy it, obviously, myself anyway. I got some flossers, because we needed those. I had a couple other interesting finds. I found this. It's like a beauty blender, vitamin E infused blender brush. That sounds interesting. I want to play with that. And then I, I haven't had real good luck with beauty blenders. I haven't tried the real thing. I'm, I guess I should point that out. But I did try a generic one once from Ulta. Didn't really like it. And this was marked down a couple bucks, this London Soho beauty sponge. So I thought, you know, I'll maybe give it a go again, see if I, see if I like that. Hi, sweetie. I'm home. All right, so what I got from Target, um, some chicken breasts for this salsa chicken thing that I'm gonna got make. some cheese for it. Also got some tortillas. This is the kind of thing, it, it can be like, you can put it right in a tortilla like a taco, or it can be kind of a good dip type item. So I did grab some tortilla chips. The recipe also called for some taco seasoning, so I got some of that. Also got a jar of salsa. That's also what goes in the crock pot. And um, they didn't have the sweet kind that I love so much, but I figured this will do. It just said a chunky salsa. And then I was looking around at the other salsas, and I didn't know if this would be so good for this particular dish, but I really wanted to try it. It's the um, Target brand Summer Fruits. It says made with strawberries, kiwi, and what does that say? Pineapple. So I just really wanted to try that. I like to use a lot of salsa, like if I make um, eggs in the morning or something like that, put some salsa on them. And I thought that sounds quite delicious. So I'll let you know how that is. I was hoping for something that would not cause like the little bumps in your clothes. Cause I noticed on Tyler's shirt today, he had like the little bumps in there from a shirt that had been hanging on the hanger. And I wasn't sure if maybe these were supposed to not cause that to happen, but We'll try them, you know, I got a set of 10. I also love to look at the storage stuff at Target. I feel like they have some really cute things. And these are like those little white baskets that I use a lot. Um, I use them in my closet for storage and use them just in my makeup area. But I thought these were extra cute because it looks almost like a basket weave type thing on there. And the holes are a little smaller. Small things won't fall out of them. So I got a couple of those. And finally, this little V-neck coral sweater. Um, it's kind of a longer sweater. Um, for On me, this may be something that actually goes over my butt and I can wear it with the le leggings and stuff. But um, I got this for nine bucks. It was in the clearance area. I wasn't really planning to get any clothes, but um, this is just such a pretty color and I feel like with the you know the sleeve length it's long sleeve but yet it's kind of a fun color so I'll be able to you know wear this into the spring I think. Baker says that's just great. <laughs> she has and I should think about that when I call, I call her so many nicknames and you guys are probably like I thought her name was Cupcake and it is but uh, we call her a lot of other things. She's Cupcake, she's Baker, she's Baker Bean, she is the cake. She loves this little bench storage thing that we have here because it allows her to look right out the window and keep an eye on all those birds. Right, Baker? <laughs> Mouth open? Are you shocked? <laughs> I am in the process of uploading a video right now to my vlog channel. Um, that's that talk I did with the students at WIU. So. 
by the time this video gets up, that one will already be posted, but I also was here posting a blog about false lashes, and I did this sort of cheat sheet thing where, you know, people watch the video once maybe, but then you don't want to have to like go back to it all the time because it is 11 minutes long, so I made this little cheat sheet so people can kind of look at the different steps and just real quick refer to that and know how to apply. And then I did some frequently asked questions or just some good questions people asked um, about that video that was posted. So um, this is a very pinnable thing. So I posted this on Pinterest and if you see it, like it or repin it or whatever because I think it'll be helpful. Yummy, doesn't this look appetizing? <laughs> um, this is the crock pot meal that I'm making. It started off with the packet of taco seasoning in the bottom. Then you put in your chicken breasts. Um, you can do three. I did there's probably five in here, so I'm doing a little bit bigger recipe just so we can have some leftovers and continue to eat on this for a while. Um, but then you also put in a quarter cup of water, quarter cup of oil. I added a little bit extra of both of those since I've got more chicken in here. I'm also going to add in a little bit of frozen corn just because I like it. So just sprinkle some on in there. Doesn't have to be exact. Then the recipe says you want to add one jar of salsa, a 16 ounce jar. So just kind of get that all over your stuff. <laughs> well, here's a look at what is going on in the crock pot After now. After I put it in here, um, you put it on low for four hours. I actually was hoping to get this done a little bit quicker, so I turned it over to high about midway through. But you can go in with a couple of forks and just shred up all the chicken. And so that's what you get here. Um, the more finely you shred it up, I guess kind of the easier it would be if you're going to put it on some chips for nachos or whatever. But you can see the corn is in there and it's kind of got a nice little sauce going on. So I am just going to be putting together a couple of tacos here for Tyler. Just want to watch me eat this? Well, I thought I'd get, I like to get a reaction shot after one of my masterpiece dishes. So we've got a couple of soft tacos here. You could also, I might put mine on some chips, actually. See how Tyler is giving it the proper fold, right? Yeah. Mmm. Oh, that's good stuff. How is it? Really good. Is the chicken tender enough? Mm-hmm. Mm. Uh, Flavor-wise, what would you say? Excellent. But this was so easy. It was just, you know, some chicken breasts, some salsa, some taco seasoning. A little oil, a little water, and uh, we're good to go. So That's fantastic. Awesome. Well, I'm glad you like it. Me too. Any final thoughts? I'm just going to keep eating. Okay. I threw on some different lipstick. This is from Milani. It's the color Statement, and I think the shade is Sangria. And this is from the Plums Collection, so I'll have to be um, updating you on those new shades here coming up. Speaking of Sangria, it's actually the scent of my new soap that I have. It smells very delightful. Baker, you want to say goodbye? Well, bye everyone. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you again in a future vlog. Bye.